That's why they be just joining us. This is an upper life, so each and every morning, this is how we do it. And uh, we got a special guest inside the studio this evening with us. And he's been doing crazy things over the last couple of months. And he's got a new project, and he decided to bring it to us right here at the Upper Life Show to introduce to you for the very first time on the Upper Life Show. It's Mr. Stuggerback. Welcome to the show, sir. How are you doing today? Yeah, man, I'm good, you know? You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, right? You just a bit quiet to me. You just like it, like you're not ready for this. Are you ready for this? What you just said? Born ready, Virginia. What are you talking about? Uh, for those of who's watching and who's listening, uh, can you just introduce yourself to everyone for me? Who's Stagaba? Stagaba is a UK dancehall artist, you know. Born in Jamaica, moved to the UK in 1999, you know, to pursue the music, you know, the love of the music. And that's what I'm doing. Just about to drop my first EP, a five song EP. Okay. And Flames exclusive, first for time very, playing first time. on UK radio. First See, yeah. time, the very, very first time. There's a very, yep. there's a, we're, we're known for doing the first things for a lot of times, and this is one more thing that we need to add to the collection right now. And trust me, it's a very pleasure to have you here in studio with us because we've been hearing quite a bit about your music and your production because the word in the street is that Stagabak is coming. But well, are you ready for this? Are you ready for what's coming next for you? Musically, the EP. I was born ready, as I said. You know, this is this is what I was born for. This is this is me. You know, I love it. Can't get enough. Sleep, breathe, dream, everything. Music. Okay, you said you moved here when you was younger, right? You moved to the UK. Yeah, when I was young. Uh, but how, how old was that? About in your teens? Well, twenty-one. <laughs> well, twenty-one. <laughs> <laughs> not so young. Okay, so not so young. But was that the main focus when you come into the UK? Well, not necessarily football. Football was your main focus. Football. Used to play football, but. You know, music was always one of my first well, love. Well, the football was actually one of my first love, but as you can see with me, I've gained <laughs> a lot of things. I gained that one pack. Uh, no, I mean, I pack thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, you look like a, a proper lean person yourself. Yeah, I keep myself together, you know. You know I'm sure the girl that might look like. <laughs> see that? Firm as a rock, you see me? Yeah. <laughs> I keep it, you know. Oh my gosh, so there's a lot of things coming in this EP as well. The EP has something for the ladies, as we can. As we just seen, he's just showed us to us. Uh, can you just give us the title of the EP? The EP is called Blessed. Blessed? Yeah. Okay. Blessed. You know, you wake up in the morning, regardless of what's going on, yeah. you must feel blessed. You must give thanks. So you that's understand? A, and that, is, that, is that a name of a track on the EP as well, or is it just the name of the whole uh, No, the there design? is a. The first single we're promoting is called Blessed as well. So, okay. You know, so it's just. We are about positivity. You so know, what feel was, good. What was going through your mind at that time when you were doing the EP? You know, there's a lot of th a lot of things that happening in the family around me. Okay. And in order to motivate myself, you have to think on the positives. You know, think of the things that we have. Okay. You know, life so number this, one. So this project was something reflecting of you, um, the time when you're going through yes, at, the, at, at that pretty time. So all uh, access now. Is this um, relatively new material, or is this something that you've been doing? For a long, long time, say a couple of years back, and you just decided to put it out now. Well, I've started this project from 2011, 12. Okay. You know, but the the blessed title and the blessed song just yeah. come about like two or three months ago. So what inspired that to just come up um at this time? Why not two or three years ago? You know, for me, all things take time. You know, things just don't happen overnight. Okay. You know, you may come up with a great idea in your mind at the time. Yeah, but it but wasn't you know, right. It, no, it's the time it wasn't right. You know, and I like to do things. You know, when I feel it, yeah. then I know other people will feel it. At the time, I felt it, but not to the extent. You know, and the, the level of where the song is at the moment. Okay. So, you know, what's the message behind this? Um, the the what what do you want people to take from this EP when they get it? Yo, the, what I want people to take from this EP is, is positive. Positive. You know, thinking that, believing, not even thinking, believing that all things are possible. You know, when you work hard, you know, you're focused okay. and you're determined. You know? So that's the message. Yeah, the message. A whole, some package of uh, the music that you have on this. It's a five, it's a five track, right? It's five tracks. Five tracks. So how did it go? Is the mastering done by you? Because I know that you're dabbling in a bit of the making up beats and so on do you do are you involved in any of the production side as well yeah i wrote all the songs all the lyrics for the songs okay you know, i co-produced the album and um 
I didn't master it, mix it and master it myself. Okay. And I got it to mix at um, Stingray Studios. A Stingray Studios, yeah. Yeah, Dilly, 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 Master, uh, mix it. Dilly. Yeah, man. And Calvin, ma yeah. Master. It. Okay. Yeah. Stingray is my cousin, actually. See, so I, you got I, music in the family? Yeah, 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 man. Music, born and bred, I tell you. Okay. So, you know, so uh, you've been doing the music for how long, you said? Probably since you're 21. No, I've been doing music from, I was a boy, from See. your school, you know, you used to beat yeah. the table and freestyle over lyrics, over rhythm. You know, we do it in Jamaica. But I only took it more serious when I came here. Okay. You know, when you, you know, you, you just, you can't walk away from it. You, you can't, you, you can't. No, man, you grew up with it. Yeah. You know, my blood. Who inspired you to do music, really? Who inspired me to do music, Bob Marley. I thought henceforth why most of your songs actually have that one drop feeling is more like a, a roots revival side because I, I I'm listening to the, the the beats that I'm playing now behind the, uh, what we're talking so I think it's the track for bless right yes the and you can hear there's loads of different um instruments into the beat it's not like it's computer uh, computer generated no man it's live most of it's live ninety nine percent of it is live yeah but how do you find it trying to get this um this um, retro type of music to the modern crowd, do you think they, they're gonna accept it or are they gonna be like, it's outdated? You see, when things are great and you do it from your heart and yeah. with love, people will, you know, gravitate to that. And I believe with the positive message that the song has said, yes. even the EP, because the EP is overall is positive. Yeah? Um, okay. People, you want a little bit of roughness sometimes, you know, but yeah. you, you need some, you're yeah, driving some far distance, you know, you put it in the CD and you can just relax and like, yeah, bum your head and... Uh, I can yeah. hear a bit of jazz going on as well. Growing up in Jamaica, you know, we're influenced by loads of different music, genres of music. We listen to country and western, Yes. you know, we listen to jazz, we listen to blues, we listen to R&B, hip-hop, we listen to everything. Gospel music, you know, a big thing in Jamaica. Everybody so, is Sunday, you know, it's the gospel yeah, yeah, of yeah, so, so it's like, it's in my blood, it's yeah. something we grew up, you know. So when me I write a song, it all of them things I pick up. It's like okay. a fruit basket. You just put all of them things in a in a in and a little bit. Like you just together. marinate it and season it up nice and yeah, right. put it out there. So you what we're gonna finger. Do, what we're gonna do right now, for those of you who just join us on here and who's listening and probably watching online right now, I'm gonna be playing one of your songs. I'm gonna take one more track from the album, it's called Nobody, and I'm gonna just play this one for a couple of minutes yeah. and just get the listeners a feel of what and you're all about because we got some people that's just joining us now and we need them to have a feel of the artist that's inside the studio so we're going to be playing one of his tracks off his album the one beneath my voice now this is the soundtrack for the title of the album is go by the name of bless and this track i'm about to play right now is a track called nobody and it's off the upcoming ep by stagabag right here on flames radio <laughs> That's right, this is an upper live show. Oh, we got in the studio this evening, Stagobak is here. And we just played one of his songs off the EP right now. The EP is called Bless. Nobody. Nobody. And that's the name, the title name of the EP. It goes by the name of Nobody. And trust me, very, very good production going on here. I like to hear um, people doing music, especially the new artists doing the music the proper way. I doing it, yeah, how it should be done not cutting any corners and just doing it properly and making it sound as if how it meant to sound that rich real authentic feel of reggae how did you come about putting up together all these tracks together to make this one complete project as you say bless ep just define the journey that it took you to a comp compile all these tracks together for me as i said i started this um this program this process in 2011, 2012, you know, I've written a lot of songs, a lot, a lot of songs. Is it? <laughs> yes, I, re I produced, recorded a lot of songs, you know, and initially I wanted to record, I released an album. Okay. You know, because I released the album before, in 2010. Uh, I thought this was your first no, one. No, man, this is my second. Okay. Yeah, I released the album through Zoja. Okay. International, tour Jamaica, Yeah. tour England, that and other stuff. You know? So you've been, so you've been active. I've been very active. <laughs> okay, and here's me thinking that um, no. you're just coming out of the the, the woodworks. No, I'm not a newcomer. Not a newcomer. Newcomer to you. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's good to make friends. Yeah. You know, networking along the way. That's right. And you know, you help promoting my music. That's right. Give thanks. 
Well, that's what we're here for, right? So where do you see yourself in the next five years in terms of uh, progression with your music? Well, you can't really put a time on things. Though. Okay. Because, you know, we, we are not really worthy for tomorrow. That's so right. what I do is, I try to maintain my focus in terms of my drive, which is try to build a career. Okay. You know? Continue to learn from, you know, from, from the elders. Yeah. You know, people who paved the way for me. That's right. You know, see people like Chronix doing his things. And doing it great as well. Oh, trust me. Yeah. I love to work with Chronix one day. Yeah. Yes, man. Everybody would like to work with Chronix right now. You know, Junior Gang. Oh. Yeah. Again, Bob Marley. That's right. One love. But is it only reggae? Is it your only um, love? Do you love any other genres as well? Again, coming from Jamaica, we love everything. Okay. You know, and with my first album, that's what I did. I kind of merged a lot of different styles into the album. Together. Yeah. And it worked, but as an up and coming artist, unsigned artist, it's quite yeah. difficult to get out there. So what I did was kind of really look into the market and see where what's missing. Know, what's missing. Hence why I, I kind of gone more cultural, more reggae, more roots. Okay. And I feel like that's my real, it's gonna work my real you. self. Okay, that makes sense and definitely we see great things and we wish you all the best for the upcoming future and everything. But while we're here, what we normally do, we like to put people on the spot, right? Yeah. So you saying that you're doing, doing all these songs, we're not sure if you're doing them. So we're going to be giving you a live take. Uh, maybe about 30 seconds or 45 seconds up to you yeah. if you could just do something live for us while we're here any particular track you want to go for well i'll give you something after the ep okay yeah, it's, called, it's called spill belief okay do you like me to play the instrument or you want to do it a cappella huh i can do it anywhere you want okay you go ahead this year man it's your show man you go on all right this song i'm gonna do is called spill belief because something like this i still believe that one day one day, one day, some good is gonna come my way. I have a dream that one day, one day, one day, the world is gonna know my name. I look to the clouds for the answers, hoping to find my way. When all along it was written, what I seek I find one day. As long as there's a tomorrow, as long as I can breathe. And as long as I have the strength to fight, I still believe. Yeah, that's a positive message. I love that, right? And thank you very much for making it up on live show. It's a pleasure having you here telling us about your new EP. As you said, the name of it is Blessed, right? Blessed. Okay, and it's out when? It's out on the um, 21st of August. 21st of August. Yeah. So people, make sure you go out there, you get that EP. It's going to be on iTunes. That's the 21st of August. Stag about Blessed. It's going to be on um, iTunes and all major music platforms. So, how can people find you and find your music online? Well, you can find me from Facebook, which is facebook.com, Stagabak. Twitter, Instagram, the same Stagabak. Or you can go to my website, www.stagabak.com. That's www.stagabak.com. Yeah. That's right. That's right, people. Stagabak was here on the Open Live Show. And thank you very much once again for passing through. Uh, we're going to be leaving you this evening.